We're going to talk about God's chosen people. And God picked Abraham and through him Isaac and through him Jacob and through Jacob 12 sons. And through the 12 sons in chapter 49 of Genesis, God picks one of the 12 and he says, my Shiloh, the one that's coming, is going to come through Judah. And the scepter, the lawgiver, will rise up from him. So Satan says, ah, I know what I'm going to do now. So he decides he's going to destroy the Jews. And he gets Pharaoh to start oppressing them and start killing the firstborn. And God saves one of the firstborn and one of these young men. And he gives him a call. And Moses and his older brother Aaron are called of God to be deliverers. So what does Satan do? He gets Moses all caught up in the wealth of Egypt. So he gets him out of Egypt. So then he becomes a murderer. And he thinks he's got him set aside, but God uses him to deliver Israel. So then what happens? Israel gets into golden calf worship, and God says, I'm going to incinerate all of them. That would have wrecked the plan, wouldn't it? Because he had to have someone from Judah's descent to be the deliverer. And so God, through Moses' intervention and his intercession, doesn't destroy them all. So what happens? Along comes Balaam, and Balaam pollutes them through immorality. And the intermarriage of the pagan women is going to ruin the line, the seed through which Christ is going to come. And so again, Satan thinks he's so close, but God intervenes again. And through a righteous Phineas who spears through the immoral pair that is introducing this gross worship into Israel, he again preserves the line. But then finally, Satan thinks he's got it down. He finds that Christ has come to earth. And so he incites Herod to kill all the children, but Christ escapes and is taken by his parents to Egypt. So then he incites the town people of Christ's hometown to try and throw him over the cliff and crash in Nazareth. But Christ walks through the midst of them. Then he incites the people of Jerusalem to try and stone Jesus, but Jesus walks through their midst. But finally Satan says, I've got him. And he takes a man from Keroth, Judas of Keroth, Judas Iscariot. Satan doesn't realize as he enters Judas and causes him to go and make a deal with the chief priests and the Sadducees to betray Jesus Christ. He doesn't realize that he's fulfilling God's plan. You see, he has always tried to destroy the plan. He's always tried to stop the seed from coming. And at the end, when he culminates his plan to destroy the seed itself, he fulfills God's plan of redemption because Jesus Christ had to die in our place. 